Hello, hello beautiful Pisces and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces or anyone for that matter, even if you're not a Pisces. I trust that there is something in here for you if you feel drawn to this message. Um, so Pisces, I did your scrying channeled messages on 221 and I always take a picture of the messages um, and then I post them on my YouTube community page as well as on my Instagram page if you're interested in, in checking me out there. Um, your uh, your your messages came through really quickly. So there's a lot of um, Eight of Wands and Knight of Swords energies. And I just did Aries and Aries also um, got the Eight of Wands. So there may be a connection to Aries um, in some kind of way. You may be just guided to, um, you know, watch that reading. They may be all connected. Usually when I do readings in the same day for multiple signs, they somehow connect the story. Um, so what I, what I wrote down for you, I actually didn't see it. I didn't even hear it. It was so odd. I just felt like I was just writing it. It was just like, okay, something sitting inside of you is now going to be standing outside of you. And I wrote that so fast. And I was just like, why did I write that so fast? I didn't even hear it. I didn't even see it in a vision. What's going on here? And that movement felt like it was just symbolic of of movement symbolic of how something quickly is shifting not just inside of your body and outside of your body okay so you can say like that's as within so without energy as soon as i wrote that down on paper it's almost like i wrote it down and it became real so i wrote that down and then it shifted into a vision and I was just like, okay, after that thought, and I wrote that so quickly, I saw the vision of what I wrote down. And I saw a vision of someone literally like sitting on something. And then they saw it outside of themselves and it became outside of them. And they're just like, oh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm no longer sitting on something anymore. It's, it's over there. It felt, it was such a strange it was such a strange like compilation of energy. I was just like, okay, we'll just flow with it. Um, the numbers that I got for you were uh, 414, 888, and 211 and 411. Your energy is a lot more like upbeat and like <laughs> ready to go um, uh, than like than Aries. Aries, I felt like I was, I had to temper the energy because if I felt at all, I was just going to just implode. Um, but with you, I feel like I feel like I'm really, really flowing in this energy and it's moving really quickly. So I got to keep up. Um, regarding love, I, I see like a really big expression from someone, maybe you, maybe this other person. But I, again, I wrote down fantasy love without even knowing where this came from. Um, I feel like that's the message for you. It's like, I'm, I'm writing things down. I want something, but I'm like, where is the source? Where is the origin of this thought? Where is this? Where is the origin of this dream? Where is the origin of this? And it's, um, it's, it's not, it, it doesn't feel confusing because it feels right. Something just feels right. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just explore. Regarding love, um, yeah, fantasy love is what I wrote down. I didn't hear it. Again, I didn't see it, just like that other vision or other thing that I wrote that turned into a vision. Um, the numbers regarding love are 2 to 2 and 7 to 8. So <laughs> let's just, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's see what this is. Let, why not? <laughs> like, just so much. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something really fun. I feel excited. Um, let me just give my thanks before I get ahead of myself. And I don't want to be disrespectful. So, okay. Thank you to my guides. Thank you to my spirit team, ancestors known and unknown. Thank you to goddess Anana Ishtar. Thank you for your love, your courage, your support, your powers, your gifts your protection and your presence in this space, in this moment. Thank you to Goddess Isis. Thank you to all spirits of the Most High. Thank you to Pisces for allowing me to read for you today and for trusting me with your energy. 
And I want to say thank myself, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I don't thank myself. Um, thank you to my intuition. Okay, I mean. Okay. Is that weird to say? Is it weird to thank yourself? <laughs> I don't know. I've never done that before. I don't know. Is that part of you? Is that part of your message? I've never thanked myself. <laughs> okay. Very playful energies. Very uplifted energies. There's something very different here. I feel like this great emphasis of of energy it's 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 emphasized here for you it's like you can't miss it i'm gonna go to the shamanic dreams and then i'll get into um this one which is new and i've definitely like been connecting with it a lot the human spirit oracle i don't look through the oracles that i get like i don't look through them i like to be surprised and also non-biased like i don't like to know the cards because sometimes I can pick up on an, an, on an energy and, and when I read, I don't want to be stuck on, oh, that's just what that energy is. Because um, energy always shifts, honey. All right, Pisces, just a few more shuffles. No need to be impatient with me. Just a few more shuffles. Just got to get ready. Okay. for Pisces. There's something about like um, a mixed order of things. Like the order of something is being mixed up, but it's still the order of things. Is something that I'm seeing here. Like the fact that, the fact that, um, Sorry, hold on. The fact that I wrote something down and then I saw a vision of it after, it felt like, oh, well, that worked too. That worked too. That's not usually how it works, but that works too. It's almost like you're a witness to something here. 60 watchers transpersonal. It's almost like you are a witness. You're watching something. You're a witness to the mixture of order. And you're just like that works too that works <laughs> like i don't know i can't that works too yeah thanks spirit that also works um that's what i'm getting here with you if you're the stranger curiosity 6063 there's a lot of uh sixes and threes coming out winter's dream the gestation period and um, the stranger. Okay, I gotta move. I gotta shift. Hold on. You have here possibility for union forty seven. This is connected to your love. There's. A, I'm also seeing a lot of um, orange, red energies like this. Okay. Um, what I'm really noticing here with the stranger is whatever is coming out of the stranger's hands. Or the vibration that they're emanating is also the vibration and the colors that are also in the energies of these cards. The union card and the witness watching energy. And I don't know why that is, but I'm going to park that in my head. And we're going to get back to that later because that feels quite big. So if those are some are you, I feel like I have to explain myself sometimes. <laughs> like... The visions that I see are symbolic. The energy that I see is the energy in the metaphysics, the metaphysical realm. It's in the unseen. So I have the capability of visualizing energy, understanding energy, seeing it, feeling it, and communicating that back to you. I do my best to bring down the messages to earth, okay, in a way that is, you know, comprehensible, like, or, yeah, um, easy to understand. So I, I feel like I feel like um, you're you're curious about a way. You're curious about a way that seems quite unorthodox, like just very different, very unique. It's like this is like also like a cave, and I feel like no one is there, just you. It's like 
oh, I'm going to enter this grotto, I'm going to enter this cave, and I'm going to do something really different here. And you're just like, oh, this is, this is working. This is, this is different. It's, um, that's what I, like, you're doing something, you're doing something different with something inside of you that is now going to be standing outside of you. I feel like whatever it is that's inside of you hasn't been expressed out. It hasn't been it hasn't been expressed is something that I'm seeing here with the winter's dream. I understand this says gestation period, but the fact that I'm seeing this energy kind of asleep or in this like spiritual narcolepsy energy where it's not awakened, there is something that you haven't expressed. And that's this expression energy that I'm seeing here with the stranger card. It's like you're expressing an energy that is quite strange to you and it's working in a very in a very strange way, but you're watching it come out of you. You're watching it outside of you and you're just like, I think this is working. I think. <laughs> and Spirit's like, yeah, <laughs> it is. Like, it is. Okay, so let's explore what this is. Let me, this is how I'm seeing the energy. Let's explore what this is. Yeah, it's interesting. I saw that. It's symbolic of movement in the body and then outside of the body. And that's what's happening here with the stranger. He or she is expressing this energy from inside of their body and it's moving out. Yeah, give it a whirl. <laughs> I feel like you're having fun with magic or you're having fun with something. You're just like, I feel like you know what this is because I'm like, what is this exactly for you? I don't know. Um, but you're giving it a whirl. You're giving something a try. I'm going to take that. That is, even the color is just so beautiful. It's almost like I'm also seeing like spirit giving you a new toy and they're just like, give it a whirl. It's like you're, it's, what is that called? Um, like you're demoing, you're demoing a new game. You're demoing a new energy. You're demoing a new gift or a new way. Give it a whirl. See how this feels. See how this fits with you. And you're just like, hmm, yeah. That works. Because it's like you tried. Oh my God, I just heard they broke the mold. You you broke the mold. I keep saying this card. It's Midas touch. But it's interesting because when I read it, um, I read it as mind's touch. I read mind's touch instead of Midas touch. So we're going to go with mind's touch. I feel like that's, that's it's, see the color? connected to this union energy there's something about that your minds are touching uh, okay we'll get park that spirit um you do not like to do what others are telling you to do or what others like advise you to do or I get into that energy too. I've been this way my whole life and I don't, I've never seen it as a bad thing. I don't like to do what other people tell me. I respect what other people tell me, but I, it's not that like, I don't like to, or I don't want to. It's just, I feel like sometimes I'm so different that I can find another way. And sometimes like that way works the best for me. And I find the most success or I find the most grandiose of energy and, and amplification of magic that I'm just like, yeah, that's it for me. That's that. That's that for me. That works for me. And I feel like that's what you're doing it here. You're giving something a world that works for you. You're doing something that is bringing out this energy that has been sitting inside of you for so freaking long. This could be like a project taking off. This could be you starting your business. You, I don't know, wanting to be more consistent about exercise or like intuitive eating or whatever. Let's just go with a project. Let's just go with starting something that's been inside of you 
Okay, I'll just say it's an energy, but you can interpret that however you need it in whatever way in your life. And you've seen videos, you've, you've listened to advice, and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll try that. Yeah, I'll try that. And you've just watched it stay asleep. You've just seen it stay asleep. Yeah, no, it's, it's still inside. <laughs> it's still inside me. Yeah, no, that dream is still, it's still asleep. The dream is asleep. Oh, this feels really, I'm, I don't want to get too to uh into inception or anything like that but it's like the dream is sleeping <laughs> the dream is having a dream of itself sleeping um I don't, there's something about these numbers too 6063 6306 what numbers did i get for you 414-888-211-411 728-222 Oh, shit. Here it is. Oh, no, it's not. 278. I have here 278. Okay, anyway, I don't know why I'm thinking about that. I'm seeing August. I'm seeing August 27th for you. If there's a date. Okay. That's what I feel immediately. Like, that's your, this is your energy. And I feel like you gave something a world. See how that, see, like you've been trying. Okay, sorry for repeating myself. You've been trying what other people have told you or what you will, what you were taught how to do it. And, and it just, nope, still sitting on it. It's, it's still sleeping. And then spirit, I feel like spirit gave you like, it's like you put on these glasses and like you saw something different. So I want to tap into those glasses. I want to tap into the site because you have some kind of new site or you found a way. It's almost like you spoke to this energy or this energy spoke right back to you of like, let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. This is how you get me free. This is how you can free me. And you're just like, or it's like, can I show you something? And then you put this on. There's something within you that's like speaking to you. It's like, it's like when you listen to your, to your heart, your heart speaks. There's an energy of this dream. Okay, so imagine the dream, possess, like having an energy, obviously, right? And this is the energy it possesses. This is its core energy. And it's like, yes, it's sleeping, but it's still alive. It still has like this, this energy within it that you can tap in to see its construct, so to speak. It's, um, yeah, it's like it's construct. And like you're looking at it, you're looking at it, you're looking at it. And then it like speaks to you. You see something that you're just like, oh my God, that's, that's the way. And then you try something and all of a sudden the energy is outside of you. All of a sudden it's right there. It's outside of you. Your wallflower. This wallflower. It's it is it's 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 just like oh my god. Sometimes I see like because this card did come up before and sometimes I see it like, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. But this time I'm seeing the expression of like, oh my god. Because it's created something so beautiful. This wall of flowers. This is tangibility. This is actualization. This is materialization here. It forms. And you're just like. Hi. Oh my god. There it is. 
it's expressed it's expressed now and it's taking form this again this could be a project a manifestation of yours a dream of yours a wish of yours i i don't know something it's something it's something that that's been inside of you that you're that is now out Okay, hold on. Because this card just shifted for me. Like it, it, it's shifting so much. So whatever this take, whatever, whatever this energy that gets expressed out, it's going to shift in your reality very quickly. It's going to become something else very quickly. So meaning, if this is a project or a business that you launch, the direction of that that you thought it was going to move in is going to shift in, a, in another direction very quickly. If you put out a video, you're going to go viral. If you um, put out, I don't know, make a wish, the wish doubles. It's like it becomes something else very quickly. And like you can't believe it. But also there's going to be people, strangers that are very curious about how you did something. And so now I'm seeing this card like silence. It always shifts. It always evolves. Energy always moves. So now I'm seeing that happen. And you're just going to be like, well, I gave something a try. Huh. And it worked. And it worked. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's a reason why you're quiet about it, though. Because you may not even know how you did it. You may not even know how you did it. It's almost like, well, yeah, I went within. I understood the energy. Um, the energy talked back to me. And it just, I just understood what I needed to do. I just had a realization of what I needed to do. And I let it go. I expressed the dream. I expressed the wish. I expressed, I expressed it. I gave it a whirl. I, you gave a dream an identity or you gave a dream an expression. It's almost, it's so unique to you though. That's the thing. It's so unique to you that it almost cannot be duplicated. But other people are going to wonder how the hell did you do that? It cannot be duplicated. That's why like, yeah, no, I get that. I'll just say that. I get that. <laughs> Yeah, see, if, if other, at the split, okay, I'm, this is a sign. At the split, if other options seem close to you, let them go. There's another way open to you. And that door that's open to you is for you. And again, more with this orangey energy, orange. So I'm seeing, what is that, your solar or your sacral chakra. I'm seeing a, a blend of your solar and sacral chakras. This is also the watcher's energy. You're seeing doorways close that are not for you. You've attempted them. So you closed them. You said, I'm not going to try that anymore. Why would, I, why would I open that door when I know it's something that I've tried and it's, it's, it's already done? I've already tried it. I'm going to close that door. Some people may tell you, go reopen it. And you're just like, no, I've already tried it. I see, you, you see another way. You see another way. You're, you're a witness to another way. We talked, we said that. You're a witness to another way. I feel like I got to write, I don't know why I have to write that down because I will forget it. <laughs> it's going to be the title of your reading. I'm so sorry, hold on. <laughs> I write down everything. Hold on. You're a witness to another way. Maybe there's also a reason why you need to write that down. I feel like that's the first time I've ever done that live, though, when I'm doing a reading, recording it. I'm moving so fast in this energy. I feel like I've got to ground myself, but this is also really fun. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're a witness to another way. God, that's so beautiful. Thank you, spirit. I feel like I want to, like, put that on my fridge. 
<laughs> That's so pretty. So beautiful. Let's get into the tarot and see how else this unfolds. I feel like for some of you, you may teach other people how to witness ways, other ways for themselves, because I feel like it's going to, it's, it's, it's so unique to you. It cannot be duplicated, but people are going to be really curious. And you're just going to be sitting over there like, I don't really know if like, I can say anything. Yeah, the hanged man, you're enlightened by this. You're enlightened by this. The bat. You've heard the dolphin. This is friendship spirits, kindred spirits, compassionate spirits. I just feel really happy. Like, I feel really happy in your space. Again, I feel really playful. This is playfulness, joy. There's just so much playfulness and joy here. Like, yeah, curiosity. The deer, to me, sometimes represent curiosity. So there's, like, people very curious as to, like, what you're having fun with. What, hey, over, what are you playing with? What new toy do you have over there? What did you just, what did you just give a whirl? What was that? What was that? Can we have that too? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about this energy that's like, can't be duplicated. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else that wants to come through with this? The lion. Wow, you got a lot of animals and this is my blended this is my blended tarot mixed with the oracle and animals are coming out the only tarot so far is the hanged man the hanged man sometimes represents to me watching observing you're definitely you're going to be observing the curious people around you I feel like once you have fun with this and like play around with the energy because the energy doesn't feel fixed. It doesn't feel like it has boundaries. Like it can kind of go anywhere, anywhere that you want it to. And I feel like that's part of its magic. That's part of its gift. That's part of its construct. There's something about the lion that you feel very prideful in, like um, you're very proud of yourself that you have accomplished this. You're very prideful in a really good way, not a bad way that people sometimes perceive pride to be. This feels um, very high vibrational prideness and being very proud of yourself. Being proud of yourself, it's almost like in the beginning of this reading when I was, again, like I can feel the playful energy before I even got into the reading and I'm like, I want to thank myself. It's coming through like that as the lion. Like, you're very proud of what you have done here. Some of you may keep your success a secret is something that I'm seeing here. And I feel like that might be best. I feel like that might be the advice from spirit that's coming through now. Because you do have a lot of curiosity. You have a lot of eyes that are going to be a witness to the ways that you have opened. So I see that you may keep it quiet for some time, but it may be too big to contain. Oh, where are you? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing, Pisces? Another, another spirit animal. Why do I feel like these represent like court cards to me right now? These feel like people sometimes do. Yeah, with the nine of swords. And the hawk underneath that spirit, the hawk is always like a spirit messenger to me. Okay. 
the way I'm reading this panther today coming out in your space, oh my god, I feel like some people are really not going to be happy seeing you happy. Look at the dolphin, just, you know, feeling all joyous and happy and playful with this energy. This is you. And all of a sudden, this person's like, why are you happy? How did you do that? What are you doing? I don't know who this is, but I don't really like that energy so much. It's like, I mean, some people really don't know how to be happy for other people because of internal things. And that's what this panther is. It also represents shadows of other people. Your light. <laughs> your light. Look at the light here. Because this is underneath the panther. I mean, above the panther. Your light is so big. It's going to cast out shadows. It's going to cast out the shadows within people around you. This could also, see, energy always shifts. This is can also be your shadow. Telling you, why are you happy? Why are you, why are you playful? There is going to be a sense of joy and happiness that you haven't felt before. Because this feels like pure joy and pure love, unconditional love. And there's a shadow aspect because that light, the light of that joy is casting out a really massive shadow because this shadow has not felt that kind of joy ever. Maybe a little, if, if at all. And definitely not like this. So you may start to feel like wait a minute, why do I feel so good? Or this is temporary happiness. And so now this wallflower just shifted for me like, quiet, don't laugh. It's temporary. Meanwhile, you're wearing the most incredible gown and the most incredible headdress and you are filled with joy and happiness and pure love and magic that you created you created something for yourself that makes you truly so happy but there's a shadow here that's like okay that's temporary and that's what we're going to talk about because i want to transmute that for you because i want you to believe here that you 100 percent, 100 percent deserve that feeling constantly i know there's going to be ups and downs and feelings of sadness depression back to happiness and joy but this doesn't have to overcome it doesn't have to overshadow the light that you feel today or that you will feel when this when this manifests so i want to talk about this because i want to provide you with hopefully a tool or maybe it's just the idea or the conversation, the dialogue that we're having here with spirit today that is the natural transmuter of this energy of the shadow. So let's see what this is. If spirit allows. Another like, okay, I have so much tarot in here and like no tarot cards are coming out <laughs> because I feel, I don't know why. I don't know why actually. I don't know. I'm just noticing the energy. This is just the way that it is. But here you have the fire ant. It's like, yeah, um, you've, you've had this feeling of joy before, but see like, um, so see the, see the light here that again, this like orange, uh, yellow light, the sacral solar plexus chakra that i'm seeing literally combine itself um and again i don't know why but two chakras are merged um this to me this energy right here in the center is like some kind of happiness some kind of light something it's something that brings you happiness and then all of a sudden it's like oh there's joy send the ants send the fire ants send the fire oh there's joy oh there's happiness let's go let's go let's let's dim that 
Let's let's dim that. And because this light is so massive, your shadow brought out the panther. Uh, send the panther. What do you mean, ants? No, no, no. We need we need the panther for this. This is this is too big. This is too much happiness. And you have felt this way. You have felt this way before. In in an, in a, in a time in your life that you did feel. <sighs> a little bit of, of what this is. You got a taste of it. You got a taste of it. Not to this degree, but it was a little taste. And you still had watchers then. Because the deer is underneath the fire ants. So you've always had like something following you like you've always had this shadow follow you is something that i'm seeing but you've also had people who followed you your every move what's pisces doing how happy are they today how successful are they today what toy are they playing with today what do they do what job did they get who are they dating did they break up she got married like you've always had people is what i feel Oh my god, I've never done this before. I need to get my phone here. It's going to be here. Yes, okay. Okay, so I found it. Um, the quote. And it says, You learn you're not afraid of success. You're afraid of being in the spotlight where people can see you and have opinions you cannot control. That is, I just, I literally got chills and my face got warm. And that's why you have all these curiosity, these curious people, these people that were in your space. I could feel that. That's not why, like, you're not afraid of your own success. Like, again, like back to this lion and this pride, like, it's like, I love it here. There is something that you love, like, I love it here. I love it here. And it's not the fact that you don't like your own success or you're afraid of your own success, but it's the other people. Because you're going to be seen, the wallflower. So you're just like, okay, I'll be quiet. Oh my God, let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me. And I said, you may keep your, your success quiet because other people, that's the shadow. It's other people's opinions that you cannot control. Oh, honey, I get that. Been there. Still is a little shadow of mine, but I've been there. And that's what I feel here with this fire end. Like you had some kind of joy and some success. And then again, the fire, the fire people aggregated and they were just like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's a nice spotlight that you have there. What are you doing? Huh? You're doing that. Hmm. Interesting. That's what Pisces is doing. How'd you do that, though? Huh. Who cares? Fuck them. Let's say that again together. Fuck them. With a smile. But, but, I'm not going to ignore the other, sh the shadow that also belongs to you. Where this, the, this, this the shadow that you, the panther where it feels like temporary happiness i feel like now that we're tapping into this it feels like you may have something in your hand and then the next day, it's gone. You may have experienced like things just not stay in your life. There also may be fear of abandonment is also something here that I'm seeing with this personal shadow of yours. 
Yeah, fuck them. Fuck the devils. Fuck them all. Okay. I don't want to get too, uh, let me grab my energy. Hold on. Because here you're going to see, you're going to sing. You're going to sing. You're going to speak up no matter what. You are ready. Pisces, you are so ready. I mean, look at this. See that? Remember how I was just, oh, you're going to keep your success a quiet. You're not going to keep your success a quiet anymore. The nightingale. Chirp, chirp, motherfuckers. I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. And then the devils come out. Whoops. Yeah, but they're not, they're flimsy. They're going to come out. It's, sweetie, no matter what you do, fuck them. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you overcome your own fears, as long as you detach yourself, or not even detach yourself from your shadows, but transmute your shadow so that they can become smarter and not work against you but work for you because i feel like this panther is not going to go after your happiness anymore this panther is going to go after the devils and they're going to be like i don't care what you say about me i don't care about your opinions you can stay there this is your shadow okay you're making it work for you not against you. So it's no longer going after your happiness or your success, making you feel like that you don't deserve this happiness long term, that you don't deserve this success long term because you do deserve it. So you're, you're, you've transmuted it and you're directing it towards these devils externally. <sighs> because you're singing now. Because you're not afraid now. Should we even, do we even need another card spirit? I mean, okay, let's just get one more. Oh, okay, the father, okay, we're getting into love. Father of Cups. I knew that. Okay, so we're going to get into love. Um, let me just clean up this energy. I do want to get other messages for you because I can. Oh my god, I'm so sassy in your space. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Um... So your energy, I feel, I'm always authentically myself. Um, I feel like it's just like the delivery sometimes of my messages. Like I have to be like really calm in some of them, depending on the message and the care and the compassion needed. Sometimes I'm like really like, like right now I'm sweating. I, I want to punch someone um, delightfully though. Like I, you know, not, I'm not violent, but you know, like, I want to tell people to fuck off in your space right now. <laughs> like, I want to protect you a little bit. <laughs> so I want to be that. Um, so I can get amped up, trust me. Like, that's why I have to... I can get amped up. It's my Sagittarius energy. And my um, Gemini moon. And Aquarius and Venus. <laughs> just, I'm just... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get other messages for you before we get into love. I feel like I'm blushing. Okay. Hostilities. I mean, damn, like Pisces, what? what? See, it doesn't make you anxious anymore. It doesn't make you anxious. And I, I, I'm telling you, I, I will fight energetically I, i'm not a fighter i'm a lover but like ugh, i'm getting really warm like see, people come after you i don't it's because you're just so vibrant i feel like it used to make you so anxious but not anymore you're not giving this energy any more time of day you're not going to give these people any more time of day they can they can be hostile Okay, fine, be hostile towards me, but it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with their inner demons, right? Their inner devils, that devil card. So I feel like you stopped being anxious about the opinions of others, or you're learning how to not care. 
you're learning how to not care and i get it it's it's a process it's a journey it really is it's a journey it, it's something that doesn't happen overnight it's something that i feel like you get used to it and i feel like you're getting used to it and then you're just like yeah i'm not gonna let it bother me anymore so let's see anything else i mean the energy may just repeat itself but if there's anything else there it is i mean i did feel the solar here's the yellow i wonder if this this Oh, here you go. Financial constraints in the reverse. Oh my God, I love that for you. Yeah, see your voice, Archangel Gabriel, that nightingale, you're going to sing. Oh, contract. Ooh. And door to personal healing and happiness. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I need to calm down. Where is this card? Oh, here. I mean, the book. Okay, I'm not going to read this because I feel like we understand this energy going to put that over there i do want to read um the third chakra archangel chamuel for you because i do feel like that's important i kept feeling the solar blending with the sacral it's number 37 which is 10 wow do i really need to still add math in my head okay um emotions of desire and life force energy so the powerful archangel chamuel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force excuse me the issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy when the card appears upright, which it has, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused and purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it go for it give it a whirl <laughs> but um i like how it said um it's calling you to direct your energy in a more focused and purposeful manner and i feel like that is also confirmation that you are currently transmuting that panther shadow to no longer go after your happiness or dim your light dim your happiness um, but you're turning it towards, you know, to work for you, to protect you, to create boundaries because our shadows are powerful. When they're transmuted, we, we become powerhouses. We don't take no more shit. We, we put up boundaries. We don't care anymore because our shadows are, 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 you know, they're saying, nope. You can throw that sword. You're going to fight the panther. You're going to fight my shadow. I'm telling you, this shit... shadows get a bad rap, man. Like, I get it. Like, they're traumas, they're wounds. But as soon as they're transmuted, they're very powerful. The darkness is very powerful. So this energy, you, you've turned away against, you've turned it again away from you. So it's no longer going working against you but for you. Okay? And again, we don't like do it in a malicious way. These are just these are healthy boundaries. Like the sh when the shadows protect us, it's healthy boundaries. It's almost like shadows also filter out energies. They filter out the energies that are low vibrational because the shadow was that energy. It was that energy. It became that low vibrational energy. That shadow became that trauma, became that wound. So it, when it's transmuted, it identifies those hostilities. It identifies the hostilities for you. And it's like, let me go take care of that. Let me go take care of that. Do you see what I mean? It's powerful. Okay. So that's what this is. But this is also your creativity. 
<laughs> oh my god, you're just so beautiful right now. Okay. 34. I love this. Um, new beginnings in your personal life. This card is a harbinger of positive change. The beautiful light-filled door opens onto a lush rainbow lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addiction or looking to make some external changes, such as finding a new place to live, this card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results. Are ready to blossom. Wallflower. Um, so make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. I'm going to read you the contract first because this contract, whatever this is, it's new. It's going to lead to um, financial freedom or some kind of financial um, stability here. Okay, your financial constraints are falling off. This is partnership and legal commitment. This card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. This union... I mean, I know I knew I left that for a reason. Possibility for union. So we are getting into union energy regarding love, and there is a Father of Cups energy. Um, this union may be a business deal, okay? The sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if a legal action is underway, it's likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to what may, to what may be coming your way. And I'm going to read financial constraints for you, and then we will flow into love. So these are any restrictions about money. So this card reversed um, is about an increase in the money about to come your way. I mean, there are so many things coming your way. The previous constrictions have broken open and there's a greater flow of money and other things. As more funds come in, you'll find that you have the freedom to take more risks and spend without the previous extreme precautions. The river of abundance is starting to flow your way, but don't be too cavalier. Always bring your consciousness to this and every aspect of your life. I mean, the car says don't be too cavalier, but I mean, if you want to spend, spend. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I don't want to give bad advice, but yeah, you're you're getting more. You're getting more money. Enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> so let's um, love. So I wrote down fantasy love, and I was like, I don't know why I'm writing that because I didn't see it and I didn't hear it. Just like that you know, the very first thing I didn't see it, I didn't hear it. I just knew like, this is something that I had to do. And then the vision came and I'm like, oh, wow. Um, and then we did your entire spiritual growth reading and now we're here and it has like the same energy. It feels like something has been a fantasy. It feels like something has been a fantasy for so freaking long. And you're just like, I'm tired of that when is this going to be expressed? And I felt like there's going to be a big expression. There's going to be a big expression. Possibility for union. I did mention that this, this color here that's coming out of this stranger card is very much connected to this possibility for union sky bridge energy here. And I was like, I don't know how we're going to part that, get to that later. So now that we're in it, let's unfold this because it feels like an, an expression of passion. It feels like an expression of truth and an expression of love, of some kind of emotion. It's no longer a, po it, <laughs> it, it's no longer like a possibility that's like sitting in the sky. It's no longer a possibility that's like just in the energetic realm. It becomes a possibility that is expressed in this earthly realm here it's an ex it's an expression here is something that i'm seeing here 
And then I felt with this card that we also parked to the side, I read Midas touch as mind's touch. So you could be you could be experiencing um telepathy. But I'm also seeing like you're going to connect with this person. I feel like even telepathy there's something about telepathy that's always that's also like giving me in in your space this perception like is that a fantasy too like am i am i making that up but you're just like but i i hear something or i feel something or i'm getting this message or i'm getting this expression very energetically because your minds are touching but i also see like an intellectual like 3d conversation like i see a conversation happening your minds touch I'm also seeing like you're on the same page of a lot of things when this energy when this energy gets expressed here you're on the same page of a lot of things okay um um I actually want to use a new tarot deck for you sorry I was going to use that one, but I'm like, no, let's get something new for Pisces. So this could be a new love or this person feels new. Someone, okay, this won't be for all of you, but some of you have a long distance relationship. And so it's almost like the fantasy of living together is now going to be expressed now is going to become real the fantasy becomes real here in love wow yeah the star aquarius energy um so i do feel like this is about having hope hope some some you're 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 in the pool of hope you, you you are very hopeful there's something hopeful here because it's it's being expressed i feel like without this expression you remain hopeless is what i'm saying i'm not i'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you you hear the king of cups again you, you do have here the king of cups twice so i do feel like there's some kind of emotional expression and the emotions again water See this uh, star is submerged in water. So this expression is actually, whoops. This expression is filling the star's pool of water, let's say. It's filling it up. Without this expression, that water wouldn't be there. So I feel like without this expression, you're hopeless. It's like you need this expression. I need an expression, an expression of some kind of truth right now, or like I gotta move on. Is what I feel here. <laughs> I need something. I need something. Two of cups, like two of cups. again more of this water it, it is it's being expressed unto you or you, your expression is going unto them however this may be or maybe the both of you okay this is weird uh remember how i was like oh the minds touch and see how like the cups are on the head and they're touching and they're pouring into well it looks like one person is pouring their cup into your mind and this person is touching the other person's heart so it is creating this this circular motion i just heard i need everything for it for it to work i need everything for it to work i need the expression so i can feel hopeful but i also need everything in order for it to work that's what this means because i'm seeing a mechanism like the cup going into your head and it's connecting minds touch and then you touch the heart and it's creating this full circle moment 
this full circle moment. I need everything. I forgot what I just said. I need everything for it to work. Yeah, I need everything for it to work. Even like the vines around you guys, like, it's like all of it grows. It's like, whoa. I'm seeing an expression of love. This fantasy becomes real. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, like you haven't been able to walk away from this person. Remember how I said, like, if you don't express it to me, I, I, I will feel hopeless. And, and like, I got to go. I got to go. I don't know if you said this to this person. Like, I'm going to go. But, like, you definitely haven't. Just saying. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Like, it's... All right. Like, I read energy, so it doesn't matter if the card is upright or reverse. But it's like you haven't been able to let go. Even the way I'm reading this card. Like, this person's like, hmm. And then a dew drop falls. And it's like, it's lit up. It's lit up. So it's like there's some kind of, like hope here that you see that is almost like preventing you from walking away so even when they didn't express what they expressed or what you needed them to do for you you still didn't walk away you may have said it but you were unable to because you felt something i feel like you either like tried to explain it away or you try to make sense of it, or yeah. I feel like you, you may have tried to walk away and you couldn't. Eleven twenty-two here. Eleven twenty-two, and I actually wrote that number down for the collective that I'm about to do after you. Right here, 1122. 11.22. So you are probably connected to this collective. Collective read. Because I said here, it's connected to love. It's not who you think it is. And you've had this reading before. You've had this reading before where I was like, it's not who you think it is. It's someone else. And then the truth gets revealed. So the truth was re revealed to you. I feel like this might be a new person for you. This is a new, per a new person for you. Because that shifted. I feel like... There's something about you being ahead of that timeline of that collective read, which is tripping me a, a little bit. Because now I feel like I'm balancing time in the messages. Hold on. Because um, I did a reading for you way back. Well, maybe a few months back, but it feels like way back. And I titled it, It's Not Who You Think It Is. And I feel like you met somebody here that's not that person in that other reading. You're ahead of this timeline of that collective message. And it's almost like you're afraid, so afraid that you're also going to get it wrong this time. You're just like, is my intuition that off? Am I reading the, the signs wrong? Like I did in the past? I've done that. So don't, no shame. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel, don't blame yourself. It's interesting because that's a collective message. But I feel like you're ahead of that timeline a little bit. Because I feel like this person here is new for you. 
And there's the re- perhaps even like recently new. And this two of cups is here. Like this is very high potential of this possibility for union energy. And you've been receiving these signs and dreams and like it's very etheric energy and you're just like, this expression better come in. This emotional expression better come in because I need to feel this. I need to feel this. I cannot be wrong again. There's something about the absolute fear of being wrong again. And I, that's what I feel like is in this Eight of Cups energy. I will walk away. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk away. If you, like, I need to feel this, this expression. I need, to, I need to feel it. I need to see it. But you were unable to walk away. Because this time, just like my reading that I'm about to do for the collective, this time, it's the right time. And not just is it the right time, but it's the right one. This time, you didn't get it wrong. You have your Eight of Pentacles. Someone has, um, this is so cute. Someone has a really old vintage coin purse and like you love it and I love it. It's so, it's so cute. Someone has that. I don't know why I feel from this eight of pentacles. Like someone is really excited to like give you something. It's almost like, oh my God, I've been holding this coin purse for a really long time. Here you go. Here you can have it. And you're just like, thanks. This is what I wanted. There's something about that. Like holding on to something and then finally like giving it. The fantasy becomes real. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, and, and the Eight of Wands. Yes. Yes. I love this so much. This is a long-term relationship that you're about to move into. Some of you, with the Ten of Pentacles, this is a home. And with this Eight of Wands, it means travel for me. So some of you may be in a long-distance relationship with someone. And that fantasy, again, of like living together seems really far from reach. But it's a lot closer than you think, okay? See, it's interesting because I feel like some of you may have the perception that this relationship is not moving, but it actually is, and that's stemming from the fear from the past of being wrong. You have here 888. I love that. That is so magical. That is magic. 888. Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. It's also 111. Last card for Pisces. Ten of Swords, literally the Ten of Swords fell on top of the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, this is how it fell. This is how it fell. Which is really interesting because it's like showing the two butterflies. Because this is the fear, this is the past, but it's in the reverse. And it's almost like this is a fantasy, this is a reality. That's literally how the cards came out. This is a fantasy. That's the reality. It's becoming real. Pentacle. Ten of Pentacles. I love you guys so very much. This was such a fun reading. I had so much fun. I was so playful in it. I was just... I loved it. I love your... I love... I just love you guys. I'm being tongue-tied because I gotta take a break. <laughs> I gotta take a break. Um... Thank you so much for being here with me. Just a few housing items before we close. Um, I am open for personal readings and you, know, you can click on my website in the description box down below. I think you just need to click more um, and it'll take you to my website. Look through my website of the kind of readings that I offer and the bundles 
Um, and if you are interested, you can book a reading with me. Just read the instructions, you know, fairly carefully of how to book with me. Um, there is about a five to six month wait list. And um, when you send in your request, I will get to you in divine timing. You don't pay up front right away. Um, that would be just absurd. Like, why would I why would I be sitting on money um, from people and not do their reading for months? Like, that's absurd to me. So um, I will get to you <laughs> in divine timing and then you pay. Um, so essentially, you booking a request is you booking your stand in line, okay, and on the wait list. Um, my channel is also now open for memberships you can just click the join button um, if you want to join my channel there are two membership bundles one you know at a low cost you can just support my channel um, which i really do appreciate um it's like a little tip for me every month so i i appreciate that um or uh you can sign up for the other bundle called the crow of akashics and shadows and i do a weekly membership reading for those member groups every wednesday um, again pisces thank you so much um, i love you guys and i hope that this reading helped you all all my love and i will see you next time Bye bye